in the 1860s. What a crazy, crazy time. So much going on in our country, our history in its prime. Was a great migration moving westward across the plains. Most were just moving through, but others would stay the pain. Following the Oregon, Santa Fe, Bozeman, or Oxbow Trail, a few started putting down roots. Some would make it, others fail. A melting pot from across the ocean, they came and tested their will. And some even found their niche, but others failed or had their fill. There's the Homestead Act, the railroad tracks, making scars upon the land. The settlers' crops and ranchers' stocks, each trying to take or make a stand. There were sod busters and cattle rustlers vying for property or ground. Telegraph humming, steam engines churning, to this land they were virgin sounds. In the 1860s, what a crazy, crazy time. One of the craziest was the laying of the railroad line. The Transcontinental Railroad completing rail from coast to coast. Tycoons making their deals financially to make the most. Central Pacific and Union Pacific built from 63 to 69. One went east from Sacramento, other west from that Omaha town. Nothing before quite like it, no one in history had ever saw. Building such an operation until they met in Promontory, Utah. There were surveyors, then the land graders, try to minimize the cuts and fills. Maybe you scrapers led to rail layers, just 2% grade for hills. 30 sledgehammers, 3 spike strokes to secure, 10 spikes for each rail space. 400 rails that each mile entailed, laid it fast as a walking man's pace. Each fought against the elements, all the track they could get laid. Over mountains, through valleys, build a bridge, a tunnel to be made. Weather conditions didn't matter, ruthless pressure to get the rail done. Speed more important than quality, miles of track be the one that won. In the 1860s, what a crazy, crazy time. So much going on in our country, our history in its prime was a great migration moving westward across the plains. Most were just moving through, but others would remain.